it tonight? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think it was an image of that. I mean, they played a solid game, but other than that, uh, and they obviously won the game for one. Why did they get under my skin? Well, uh, no, I didn't I mean you oh, personally, me? okay. just in oh. general. Like, Team? You guys had some <laughs> penalties that maybe were That's, uncharacteristic. Um, yeah, I don't know. You probably watch the same replays on the Jumbotron, so you can probably answer your own question on how uh, how good of interference calls were, were, were called out there. So, uh, I don't know. You, you can't take anything away from, you know, Philadelphia's power play goals and, and uh, strong effort because I thought they were pretty solid and they played a solid game. But, uh, yeah, a couple, couple of tough breaks, but uh, I think the last 10 games or so, we've we've shut our mouth with the refereeing stuff and just went out there and, you know, tried to play, and I think it's finally turned around in our favor, uh, except tonight. So, Steve, what happened between you and Lobby Lett after the first period in the comment there? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's disrespect of our building, obviously. Just let our team off. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, he obviously thought uh, that he's got higher power than everybody else and uh, a little bit more arrogance than, than most coaches in the whole NHL. It's probably the first time I've seen that. But uh, I would never do that against, you know, Philadelphia if I was in their building and, you know, had to walk through the lineup. Just let us go and show a little respect. That's all. And, and which of it? Was it a little hard play on Giroux or... What's that? What drove it? Was it a hard play against Drew? or? Uh, I, I don't know. He just, I mean, obviously, he's, he's probably his own arrogance going to the to their dressing room. Um, they capitalized on the 